Yo, what is up, little rascals and Eddie Haskells? Today we're going to be combining Bludgeon with Scrap Hook. And uh, this particular combo is a remix of the Tarn and Axle Grease. Hey, I finally got that right. You don't know how many takes I had. Um, a Tarn and Axle Grease combiner that the Master Builder uh, Robozy created. And so, without further ado, let's get on with the show, okay? And, um, oh, really quick, just wanted to exchange pleasantries, and so greetings to everyone. I hope you are in great spirits, by the way. I hope you're in a good mood to watch some bot bending, some fan moding, and if this is your first time, this is typically what we do on the channel. And if I can make a request to all of y'all, please, please, please just watch past the first minute. It does wonders for retention, and all that ad revenue that I know you painfully have to sit through um, those ads and stuff like that, it benefits charity. So I appreciate your patronage and donation of time, okay? So cool, cool, cool. Again, thank you so much for being here. So first, we're going to start with the bludgeon figure. And we're going to turn his fist sideways like he's riding a motorcycle or something. Pretty neat, right? Uh, the little, like, arch that I have in his hips and stuff, that's not necessary. But it, it was just a result of me kind of posing him. Uh, so I just kind of left them as is. We're also taking the shin guards of um, Scrap Hook and plugging them on the side. Not necessary. I just wanted to beef up the legs because you're going to see that when we start putting all the bits together, um, he's going to be a little thin down here. And so that's why I wanted to add that. And the back part over here, we're just swinging the little guns down. And um, that's about it. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to see what's the best way to approach this. And um, perhaps we can start with the back part. We're going to take that back piece and we're going to plug this into the top portion. And I think I got it right. And if I got it wrong, then, well, I'll have to sing a different song and a different tune. Um, but so far, so good. Okay, you saw what I did, right? And from here, uh, we're just going to have the katana plugged in. It's just for aesthetics. It's not really doing anything. And then we're going to take this bit and we're going to plug it in up top. It almost looks kind of like a robot, like, like some robot hook zombie, or <laughs> such a thing doesn't exist. But if they did, it would, uh, that's what it would look like. Um, okay, so everything's just kind of plugged in there, right? And so this is going to be the back piece that obviously attaches to this part. But I am doing something wrong, my friends. <laughs> I'm doing something terribly wrong. Hold up for a second. Let me consult the Oracle of Delphi or Delphi or Del Taco um, and see how I did the back. Oh, yeah, I reversed the arms. Yeah, so let me redo that. It's good taking pictures. Good taking pictures. Dude, Del Taco, man. I wish they had a Del Taco around where I live. That used to be my jam, dude. I mean, I know it's just fast food. And uh, it's not legitimate Mexican food. And, and uh, trust me, I prefer a real taqueria any day over Del Taco. But back in the day, when we were super broke, they used to have um, chicken soft tacos. Or I forget, there was a certain type of taco that, that hold on, let me look at the pictures again. It was on deep sale on Tuesday or Wednesday. My brother and I would go out in the deep, deep, deep cuts of night to go do a Del Taco run. <laughs> And we would get mad fat, dude. <laughs> okay. So you saw what I did right there, right? We just plugged in the scrapbook arm to that thing. I rearranged it. Everything here pretty much is aesthetics. These parts are going to be the functional aspects. And, um, oh, you know what? So we're going to be creating two of these, by the way. And these are going to become these like hook hands. It looks much better with um, axle grease, by the way, because the front of the car looks a little bit different, but still it works. Um, so we're just going to take this shin. We're going to have that um, peg folded back. And we're just going to plug this right there. On RoboZ's version, dude, it looks like really good, but I don't know if it's because I changed it up with Tarn and axle, or excuse me, scrap hook versus... Uh, or, <laughs> Maybe it's because I switched it out using um, bludgeon and scrap hook versus axle grease and tarn. But mine just looks like a toddler with like like long uh, sweater forearms. I mean, you'll see in a second, okay? But this is a very important piece. Um, this is going to attach to the front like this. And it's going to be kind of like this battle apron, battle armor stuff. And uh, these are going to be incredibly important these pew pews really really great utility in those pieces 
And this, in terms of how this is constructed, normally you would just have, excuse me, sorry about that. Normally you would just have this flipped down and the head turned over, right, facing forward, and the chest would just be up. And that's just a standard ro uh, robot mode with this flipped around. But we have it flipped around so it reveals the tab. And then we can bring that down and then we can flip the head around like this. Okay, and that's gonna be the battle skirts. And then the way we're gonna have this connected is we're gonna have one of the blasters in there and that little peg is important. We're gonna have the second blaster in there like that. And this works differently with Axel Grease because Axel Grease has that really, really cool accessory that's specific to her. And so we're gonna plug that into the fist and then we're gonna plug that into the fist. You saw that? Pretty neat, right? And then you can kind of, uh, yeah, you can bring these down a little bit more so you can see more of his face. And um, now we're going to take that little peg, then we're going to plug it into the side of his arm. Plug it in, plug it in. What's up, M Go, big dog? And again, take that other one and plug it into that port. There we have him, Gadget, dang nabbit. I think he looks good. But at the same time, he does look like a little kid with like long sweater arms, you know? I was one of those kids that when I was like take off my sweaters, I would I wouldn't like pull it up from my, my stomach. I would pull from my arms and I would always stretch the shirts out. And like we were so broke, my mom would like plead and scream to be like, please stop ruining your clothes. We don't have a lot of money. <laughs> and so uh, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. But at the same time, it still also looks like grappling hooks as well. Uh, the scrap hook colors with bludgeon work really, really well. This piece looks nice and clean, too. And um, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. And uh, it took me a little bit of uh, tinkering because, like I said, we don't have axle grease's accessories to make that nice um, connection over here. But at the same time, yeah, it worked out pretty decent um, just using the, the, the bludgeon accessories, which you can also do with Tarn, of course, right? So, oh, sorry about that squeak, friends. Sorry about that squeak. So I hope you have enjoyed your time here. I hope you have felt this was uh, educational or at least um, edutational um, and uh, helps you on your bot bending journey if this is your type of stuff. And if you watch this far into the video and you haven't subscribed, it would be a real, real, real big favor to me and the channel if you could go ahead and do that. And um, yeah, once again, I'm Botbender Orange. You're awesome, you, and I will catch you all next time. Okay, Optimus Prime time. Bye-bye.